Hello, welcome to another Open Geospace Show tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, add arc layer to the map. So imagine you have a lot of airports, you want to show kind of the flight routes from the source airport to the destination airport, then this uh, tutorial might be useful for you. It can also be uh, very useful for other transportation routes uh, or migration, for example, anything related to uh, source and target, uh, this can be utilized. And I'm going to show you here, this is a map of all the airports around the globe, uh, largely, um, large airports. So I have designed this app here, it has a drop down that allows you to select any airport. So if you select any of those, uh, it's able to show you something like this. And so if you press control on your keyboard, you will be able to see uh, this is the source airport, for example, in Tema, and these are other uh, destination airports. And you can change the color, you can change the um, uh, source color or destination color, I'll show you later. Or, for example, I can change to another airport. And I know there's a big airport in Georgia, uh, Atlanta. So the code is ATL. So if I select this one, uh, this one has a large, I think it's the biggest uh, international airport. So you can see it's actually connecting to so many airports uh, around the globe. And you can easily um, switch and um change the pitch and orientation something like this and you can also switch to other airports so uh, whenever it changes it's going to create a new map uh, also you can click the globe button here on the right you also can be uh can see this one in a globe mode uh, it's pretty cool on the right here also allows you to customize the layer so i can turn layer on, on and off i can also change the airport for example i can change to at about smaller radius and then just click apply and you can turn the layer on and off so it's pretty cool um, so like i said it can be very useful to uh, any applications related to source and destination it can be water uh, traffic flow migration or like supply chain something like that so i'm going to show you step by step how to um, prepare your data and then you can create a map like this just one line of call so i'm going to switch to leaf map so uh, go to the leaf map website on the left side click map library and scroll down to find arc layer from there you can either run this one in google collect or you can download this one on your computer just right click save as then to save this one to your computer uh, you will need to install leaf map uh, on your computer so that you can utilize this and i'm going to show you uh, step by step here how to utilize this first you need to import the library so we're going to use uh, pandas and also GeoPandas to read the file. We're also going to use uh, IPy widgets to design the widgets, basically the drop down list that allows you to change uh, different airports. So just run this one. And I have provided a sample data set, airport routes here. If you click this one, oops, let me just show you the kind of the structure. So this is what the CSV file uh, looks like. We have a couple of columns and we have the source airport, we have the destination airport. And each one has the airport code here, three uh, characters. Also, you can see the full name here, the source name, and then the destination name, also the country. In terms of the location, these are the source location, the latitude and longitude, and also for the destination airport, the latitude and longitude. So you can think about this is just a simple CSV file that has location information for the source and destination. And that's it. It doesn't have to be a vector file. You will need to have this latitude and longitude. And so uh, once you structure your data in this format, then we can easily pass it into the uh, leaf map to create a, uh, um, the, 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 the arc layer. Besides that, uh, it's also helpful if you have a vector data set. So if I go back to the, uh, to the map here, showing you, right? So we actually have two data layers, the, the airport layer, and also have the app layer. So these actually are two different data sets. So the airport is just like showing you all the airports around the globe. So this one can be a vector data set. The app layer, this one is just the app layer. So there's no, um, it's just a CSV file. So we have two files here for us to create a map. And so for this one, it's just the ID here and the name and the country, latitude, longitude, geometry, kind of similar to this one, but except this one is vector. So we can show you uh, the points on the map and after that we can basically create a map so i can show you here we have this create a map using um, leaf map and then we can just add gtf because we already read this one as a geodata frame so this is the airport and then whether you want to fit bounds or not and 
I can actually show you, like if you can just show the map directly, these are all the points. Uh, this might be too big, so I can change it to a little bit smaller and click apply. Then you should be able to see them. You can also change the color if you want. So everything is customizable here. And then just click apply. It will be able to change to a different color. <laughs> and so this is what the initial map looks like. But right now, what we want to do is to create the arc layer so that you can connect from the source to the destination. And what we need to do here, although I have a widget here, you can make it really simple. You can just maybe have something like this. So essentially, you can have an airport. And then all you need is just to uh, link that to the um, selected airport. So what we are doing here basically is just creating a subset of the data set. So we can create a drop-down list and then just add the map. And then um, when the drop-down list is changed, we're going to select what airport. So basically we're going to whenever, right? So this is a vector data set. So whatever airport that you select, I'm going to grab this ID. Uh, the ID from the drop down list and then passing to uh, to select the source airport, anything related. For example, if I select an airport, this one, then it's going to select just all the uh, airport that starts from the this one, particular one. So it's, otherwise, it's going to be too much because you want to, it's going to be overwhelming. You're trying to map all of them. So I can, let me, let me show you here. It actually works. I can just show you the here. Like just one line of code, you can create the entire arc layer if this is what you want. If I can just delete this one, so let me show you. So in this case, I already have this data frame, right? So this is all the traffic routes around the globe. So you can just say DF, and then you can pass in the column name, right? Which one is the source uh, latitude, longitude, and then the destination latitude, longitude. So with this, you will create a traffic route for all the airports. And this is probably too much. So if you click, oh, uh, it's, it's just like our hair. So it's really difficult to see anything. So that's why I create the drop down list that for you to easily see just one airport rather than off the airport. It's definitely feasible. So if you have some other data set that don't have too many um, like routes, then you can just add them. So pretty much one at a cost. So I add the uh, point data layer. So if I go back to here, Turn this one off like i have all the points and then i try to connect all the points from the source to the destination um it's, it's just a little bit overwhelming uh in this case so uh, that's why we only like just show one and so let me run this one again um, i don't need to display the map right just create a map and then i can create a drop down oops uh what is happening no one nine five. Oh, okay oh, so this one i need to create a container the container basically is the um, sidebar on the right. So m dot create uh, container, and then if I run this one, it should work. So see, right? This is the container. So basically, the map itself is just a map widget. Uh, the sidebar panel is the one on the right. So from here again, I can let me change to a little bit uh, smaller. Okay. So once we have this, now the drop down list basically is allow you to select any uh, airport. So if you select one, and then Press control on your keyboard, then you can see uh, that kind of in the 3D tilted uh, map. And you can also turn this one into kind of a global map. Or let me change again to this. Let me try another one. For example, I can try um, JFK, right? The, uh, in New York. So JFK, it should be a lot because those are, are kind of pretty big airport. So if you click this one, then you could see uh, something like this. I can drag and drop. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can also customize the color. So if you want the color to be uh, different, then you can come back to here. In this app, uh, layer, press Shift tab. You'll be able to see additional parameters you can customize. So this is just a simple uh, tuple or a list allows you to specify red, green, and blue, right? So the source color, if it's 25500, that means it's red color. And the other one will be, this one will be yellow color. So if you want to control the color, you can say SRC um, color equal to, uh, how about we change from uh, green to um, green to, to gray or light green, for example. So you'll be, green will be red, green, blue. So zero, uh, two, 55, and then um, zero, okay? 
So similarly, destination color DST uh, color equal to and maybe a, a kind of a lighter green. So zero, maybe AD and then zero. And that's it. So we run this one again. Now select an airport. You see, so now it, the color has changed. So it's kind of from um, bright green to dark green because the, we changed the, the color. So you can change it pretty much to any uh, color that you like. One thing I want to point out is there's a bug. Um, so right now, once you tilt um, the map, if you click this globe, it will looks like this. Uh, like the, the, arc, the arc is kind of floating <laughs> on the ground. So the best way to use that is to see that you want to see the 3D globe, uh, change it first, uh, and then uh, without um, change the pitch of the map, then you click the 3D globe, now it works fine. But anytime if you switch to this uh, 2D map, and then you press control on your keyboard, it's going to tilt it like this. Now, if you click the map, the globe is going to be floating. So this may not be what you want. Uh, it's about of the, basically the map libre uh, Python package, but I just wanted to point it out. So in case you, you see the result, it's a little bit weird. So just select one and then click the globe. Then you can see this globe bone. And from there, uh, you, can, you can also press control on your keyboard, as you see. It's 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 moving around, so the uh, the arc, the arc layer is not attached to the surface, uh, but you can just go back uh, <clears throat> to the initial one and then press control like this if if you want to be in two uh, D. So um, it's a, a very simple tutorial. Uh, all you need to do is to prepare your data set. So make sure you structure your data set like this: the source, the destination, and then basically just coordinates. You don't even you don't even need any of this. All you need is basically just this four column, basic basically from the source to the destination. Once you have this data format, then you can just use add arc layer as I showed you earlier. Just one add call to create this. The reason I created widget just to show you because there are too much data, so it might be overwhelming. Okay, so that's all I want to uh, show you. Show you. Um, I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next one.